the mail spread our thoughts on episode one of Into the Unknown, making of Frozen, where I'm joined by my lovely Olaf and Sven. Oh, I'm so, so, so excited. I've been waiting to get this start started and we're finally here. It's going to be amazing. So they're going to be joining us for each uh, show on the documentary. So it's going to be a good time for me. <laughs> oh, I just love Frozen so much. So. I'm very, very, very excited to get on to this. It's going to be very interesting. This is interesting. Now, if like, if like me, you are a big Frozen fan, you know how hard it was to uh, get the first one. Eight. <laughs> so, this one, you think it should be a little bit easier to do, right? Well, as the first episode has shown, nope. Uh oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Okay, so the first episode is basically covers a, a year to, to the premiere. So you kind of begin with like a little um, screening, which which the cat which kind of got held, you know, uh, so like every few months, you know, to sort of showcase the current state of the films in and everything to a bunch of different filmmakers, and it's really great to see because because they get to, get to watch it and talk and literally give their feedback and they hold, literally hold no bars back which is amazing because if i was ever asked to be in a test audience that's kind of how i would want to i'd want to be you know i i, I would i'd, I'd feel if, if ever if ever i was to be in a test audience i would probably change how i watch a film completely because i mean when i'm in the match i just like to watch a film and get lost with it but if i was being a test audience my focus would change because I, I would be watching it and have to go and would literally would just make metal noses on my head, so head, so boom, 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 so I could then go right. Well, this is what I thought that. This is what I thought this. Didn't mean like that. That sort of worked, and all. Well, it's brilliant. So yeah, so that's what you get. And literally, what well, it's great we see seeing this in the episode is that they do not hold back on some of the on some of the early storyboards. On the, uh, sorry, on the uh, animation, some of the storyboards, initial the initial drafts of songs. Um, and their feedback's really helpful because obviously it informs the di direction of the story and we do get to see the songs being done. Uh, it's called the first one, um, which is because obviously we see our brilliant songwriters at work and we see the recordings and the working on Some Things Never Change, which, is, which of course is our first sort of big big song I mean, it's kind of like the first big group number all the all the core the core five get to sort of sort of have really of all of them on uh elston and christoph it's kind of like the first big sort of group number they'll get to have have and i kind of love how we see the different that, that the, the hook at the end there was a holding on sign to i actually love it how that's done by each character each of them does it differently it's brilliant brilliant there and I think they got it right with it being Elsa's end it. See, there, that's brilliant. And so obviously you get to, 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 we get to see some of the, all the cast coming in, recording, recording their, their various parts so, and everything. So it's brilliant. Really of course, Ben doesn't get to sing, but I thought, but of course, he's part of the core five. So, but you, you're, you're kind of, kind of a, as a duo with Olaf, you, you, can't, you kind of help Olaf in his part, particularly the bit where when he does his bit of the go of the hold on tight, so you see him as he's on, riding on spell, and you just hold it on to him. <laughs> yeah, he loves Sven. We all love Sven. Lovely Sven. <laughs> so I thought I'd mention that out there, because obviously some people are going to go, hang on, Sven can't sing! Yeah, well... Does that mean he's not part of the core five? <laughs> uh, and of course, the you know, the singer and lyricist in, in me, the, the former in me, literally just loved seeing those shots of all of the uh, the cast in the in the booth, literally recording their their parts and seeing how they take to each to their section. It's magic of that all coming together. It's absolutely, absolutely stunning. So that's so that's yes yeah, so that's kind of one part of the uh, of the episode to become on that and we will be coming back to our songwriters a little bit later on. Uh, the next then the, the other main football bit is about the animation. So as we get to meet the animation, some of the animation supervisors, and we learn a real interesting thing here how you've got a group of say about ninety different character animators and animators, 
directed by supervisors. And what's interesting is each character is sort of gets uh, sort of a supervisor gets assigned to each to to a certain character, which is brilliant because that's going to help. Cause obviously, they'll know more about how that character is, how what, what, how it works, which would help the animation even smoother. Um, and which is, it just helps with con with consistency and continuity. With all of them. And so we get to see see some animations that work. It's uh, work. We see all the um into the on on no. We get to see how the animation that, that gets um played out, which is very interesting. And also one of the animators did actually we did actually did try to recreate result because that's what animators do do Disney. Do, um, they sometimes recreate what's going on um in the, on the work to try and help. How about so you see the, so you did get so we, you did the episode get a shot of one of the animators literally doing the, the run that else does like towards the end end of it where it's like the, that bit so nah. <laughs> whatever help, helps helps them get the, with the work help, helps <laughs> we see that in play and also into the unknown it's song we get to see the orchestra um record because. We then get later later on we're bringing part of back into it. Uh, we see them go out and see the orchestra at work and work. Um, cause that's and it's brilliant to see them all working on that and they're doing the Internet Unknown. And whilst they're recording it, we see basically the animation of Internet Unknown, Internet Unknown come to life and the anime it looks absolutely brilliant. brilliant. <laughs> Lord see you've got Dina Mazel, she came in into the habit to be like a tell a look at what they were doing this is absolutely brilliant so great to see the actors getting in seeing why to take a look at what goes on away from their specialities it's really interesting i love because like, i felt like she has to have an appreciation more for what they were doing which is absolutely amazing brilliant to see there now towards the end of the episode we took uh, at least to cover on show yourself uh, and what i think is really interesting is how because of me Show yourself. I think is underrated. I really love it. I love. I think it's. I think it's one of my favorites from this film, alongside the next right thing. I think they're both underrated compared to Into the Unknown. I mean, Into the Unknown is great at film, but I just feel like it's too similar to Let It Go, where Show Yourself and the next right, the next right thing, they are pretty masterpiece. But what I thought was interesting about Show Yourself is I never knew how tricky it was for the songwriters because you see. Because you get to see a little bit of work like towards in, in the episode, it's, it sounds completely different to um, what they were, what the end product is. It just it felt a bit too. It felt I think for me it was a bit too more upbeat. And uh, I was like, hmm, because it's, it's like cause in that song they're trying to work out, you know, how does this how does this connect with Elsa? How does this sort of fit in with Elsa? You know, our, our girl. How does it? Uh, how does it fit in with Elsa, you know, you know, with her personality and her motivations. Um, that, so yeah, so what I, and I think we're going to be coming back to this, um, throughout, uh, the, 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 all six episodes. I think we're, gonna, we're gonna probably going to come back to it at some point, because it, it, it was only like a brief little thing, like towards the end, and it was kind of like the last sort of five or six minutes. Uh, so I think we will definitely be coming back to this, um, so maybe we can get more in detail. Um, but I think it was really interesting that that song actually was with a lot proved to be a lot more trickier uh, than it was. So hmm, so because I do love shows, it's brilliant, and I had no idea that it, that song proved to be a lot more harder um, than it absolutely than it absolutely looks. But yeah, so yeah. So in this first episode, you kind of get to get a little taste, a little flavour of what of kind of what's to come. So seeing all the different. Like, Maters at work, get, we get to hear from the directors and how they feel it's going, and and obviously our songwriters, which for me I kind of think, think is the main bog, but main important bit. Well, of course, I would say that being a singer Lewis is myself, <laughs> but I felt I just loved that, so I felt loved that. I felt we actually covered more of the music side of this episode, the narration side, I feel. I felt they did try to balance the two bright, but I think we just got a little, got a little bit more time focused to the music. Which is absolutely like, ding, <laughs> Particularly when we saw the recordings, where some things never changed. I thought, 
I thought it was absolutely lovely. Got to see all the different cats, cats um, doing recording their parts and seeing how they um, had what, what their, their techniques or what they would do to sort of help help with it. It's absolutely brilliant. It was just make, what amazing, wonderful to see. <laughs> the girls probably got a bit more attention on that bit than the boys did, but hey, uh, they let's, we won't complain there too much. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah. So it was brilliant to see, and I was. I, I loved. Obviously, we, we, we they focus on the hook um, at the end. I thought that was quite uh, brilliant. Yeah, because obviously I, that hook at the end, I think I actually do quite like it. I, what I love the most about it is how each character, well, each character apart from Spen, I'm sure Spen, you would. You would get to do it. Maybe, maybe Christoph should have done it, done it twice. Was Christoph and was you? So then that way, Spen does it. <laughs> but I love how each each author, when you hear when you hear it, and I and also see it in, in the film. I love how each character gets to say the lie. So you hear about actually. Let me let me bring, let me bring the lyrics up on on my screen, so I can so we can see how many times it's done. <laughs> so bear me one second, because each character gets to do it and I know, do it, and I know obviously that is basically hearing <laughs> hearing the same lie about what four or five, four or five uh, different times, but it sort of works. Uh, Brilliant. I'm going towards the end here. Oh no, Spad doesn't get to do it. So you hear it four, 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 four times. So it's like Arda does it. Then I'll uh, then then all laugh. Well, Alola, I think I'll just Elsa and Ola kind of, kind of do the best ones because Elsa does one that she's kind of sort of for vulnerability, and Olaf does one kind of more jolly because you see Olaf literally riding on the top of Sven whilst literally holding on to Sven. It's like <laughs> it's brilliant, but no. So sadly, Sven, you don't get to do it. Uh, it's just Ola. Elsa, Olaf, and Kristoff to get to do it. But I think Kristoff should have done it twice. You know, Wallace, Wallace, Kristoff, and Wallace wants a, spe a spend. You should have done it twice. <laughs> Lazy mare. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. So you know, you're, so you know, you are kind of hearing the same line like four times. It's absolutely brilliant because each character does it uh, differently depending depending on you know, the 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 the, 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 the um. The tone of their voice and the situation the cat is in. I think it's easily done. It's really, you know, I think we get the best two from Elsa and Olaf. Olaf for the job, it's for jolly, jolly reasons. Elsa for more vulnerability and story reasons. But it's, <laughs> but it's, br it's brilliant to see how that song comes together and seeing how, seeing all the different cast members in the studio literally working on it. It's absolutely amazing to see all that come together. <laughs> I wonder how it would have worked if Kristoff did it. Did, did, did an extra round like Sven. What would Sven do? If Sven has to do the line, what do we think it would be? Do it would be like a bit of a... What what type? I don't know. I don't know. The Sven's base is just going along with the flow, isn't he? Um, maybe... Ooh! Maybe you could do it something similar to how, we, how you do in, in the Reindeers are Burn and People Part 2. So that's kind of like a... Ooh, kind of a gentle... Sort of, it's like... Hmm. I can't remember how to do it. How it goes there, but... Uh, towards the end. So that's how you do it at the end before you before Kristoff does his... Into the ward, so like, yeah, you because know, like, obviously, I like, mean, he's like bang straight in. Maybe that, that bit, yeah. So, so, that, so that'd be a. 
So then, so ah, so ah, yeah, got it. So Spen, you can probably do it. And I'm holding on tight to you. That could, probably, that could probably be Spen's rendition of it. Probably doesn't work the same, but at least you can say you got a go at it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's brilliant, brilliant there. So, yeah, so. Brilliant there. Really brilliant. So, yeah, so I love seeing how the diff how we got to see all the cast members. Uh, and how, just saying, seeing how they take doing their part. Because um, all of us, us performers, we all do it dif differently. We all look take take us long and literally do it differently. So it's great to see how each cast member t did their part and talk on their part. That's brilliant. It was lovely towards then to see that um, the orchestra and in Interior No. Obviously, we got to hear the whole song of Into No and they played it throughout the animation. I would have actually loved to have more scenes with the um, orchestra. Because we all know how. Because they were showing you bits of fish animation, not fish animation, which is br brilliant. Uh, contrast between the two, but I also would like to maybe to see a bit more shots of the orchestra because we all know how that scene plays out. We've seen the that scene hundreds, hundreds of times. Let's see more of the bits we do get to see. So it would be nice because we heard the whole song. So it would be nice if we could maybe have seen a bit more from the orchestra side rather than the actual fish product. But and of course, towards the end, which will finish off, I did find it interesting how show yourself actually was a lot trickier to deal with than it, at first glance. It mean, I think that is an absolutely stunning song, but it was interesting. It was always like, it's like a hint of what's to come. And I really do, hope we're going to touch back on this more uh, later on in the documentary, um, Across the Six, as I we took more, more. Cause it was like, it was only like the show, like the last sort of five or six minutes. So it's like so it's like it was like setting up something ready for the next like maybe episode or maybe down the line and in the in the sit in, in the documentary. But hmm, interesting to see that that was completely different in the early stages of what it was in actual finished product. Okay, so I think we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for uh, joining us. If you've loved the show, do click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, come back when you click the subscribe button. That way you will never miss a single moment of when new code comes on King by Plus Plus and Buzz. Well, it's goodbye from Sven. It's goodbye from Olaf. And from me until next time, au revoir. <laughs>